Time for another Fluffy Gamer episode. Are you guys ready? You know I am. And it starts right now. Come join me on my adventures to find retro games. Will I strike gold? Or will I strike out? Only one way to find out. He's big. And he's fluffy. Now let's start the show. Ladies and gentlemen, the flowers are still standing. Anybody know what movie that came from? If you do, leave a message down below, because I'd like to know. Somebody seems to think that that's a very well-known line. He's probably right, but I'll explain more about that later. But for now, it's time to head into the Kobe Swap Meet. There's some games in there, and they got my name on it. Let's get inside. What's going on? We got some competition around the corner. Games? Dude, I'm no threat to nobody. <laughs> wow, that must suck. Where's your uh, entourage? Uh, I haven't ran into him yet. I'm, I'm sure I'll find him somewhere. Oh shit, Sega CDs. Oh, oh nice. Pretty much all complete. That. Just trying to sell it all, dude. Really? How much are you asking? 60 bucks. Expansion pack. If the price is right, I'm interested. This guy's just setting up right now, setting up all his DVDs and PlayStation 2 games and GameCube games. I don't think I have this Any one. Game, two dollars. Dollar? Mm -hmm. Two dollars. Oh, two bucks. Okay. Two bucks? Not a bad deal for GameCube games. I might have to pick up a couple of them. Get a stack of PlayStation 2 games over here. Normally, I try to stay away from them because I have so many games already. But it doesn't hurt to look because you never know when you can find a hidden gem. Resident Evil 4. What's up? Oh, there you go. There you have it. Dude, it's complete. No, man, no. What is he asking? Looks like they're marked on the back. How much this one's this? sealed. For five, I might do that. Oh. Crazy Taxi Three. That's actually good. The manual. Yeah, if you ever see uh, this movie on DVD, pick it up. It's worth forty bucks. Dropped it. <laughs> it's worth about twelve, fourteen on, on VHS. Got it for a buck. How much are the, uh... Emeralds, uh... How much for the wrestling game? Yeah, Ten bucks? This is actually a pretty cool game. It's kind of like Street Fighter, but in a wrestling ring. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's too. Is that Slime yeah. Masters? Yeah. Ten bucks. It's a fun but it's game. got a bad back label. It is. Or for the N64. Different price. Controller. This is like the best controller for the N64. Really? Yeah. Well, at least, you know. Oh, actually, well, yeah, because it has a different way. You don't have this thing like sticking yeah, out. Yeah, not in the middle. Right there. Super pad. I wouldn't mind picking this up. How much for the controller? I want $12. 12 bucks. Could you do 10 
Sweet. This guy over here, he had a lot of good stuff. There was one game that I was interested in. Mario Golf. Unfortunately, he was selling it as a whole. And he won 400 bucks. Wow. Alright, well so far, pretty good day. I've been picking up quite a bit of stuff. But for now, I pretty much walked around everywhere. Time to go check out Leo's booth. Ladies and gentlemen, the flowers are still standing. The flowers are still standing. Dogs and cats living together. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. <laughs> And the flowers are still standing. Real quick for some footage. I'm gonna do a real quick what Leo found today. Six dollars sealed. One dollar. Sealed. One dollar. Six bucks. Skyrim Legendary Edition. Nice. Right? Nice. Not a very good game according to this guy. Dude, it's Skyrim. It's man. overrated. <laughs> it's overrated. It's Fallout 4 is overrated. Fallout 3 is overrated. Skyrim is overrated. <laughs> Your comment Leo's section's overrated. Your, I'm overrated. <laughs> it's his I got the Spartacus time. season one through three. Oh, us. Awesome. Go got that for awesome. super cheap. I know there's some Spartacus fans out there. World War Z, got it for a dollar actually. Oh, that's three, pretty nice. But I got it for a dollar. We got Edward Scissorhands for $2.50. Great movie. I know there's Dexter fans out there. Mm-hmm. $2.50. And of course, the Chucky collection. Oh, nice. Who doesn't like me some Chucky? Wanna play? <laughs> <laughs> the one game for all your fans. There it is. Oh. Disney Prince. Barbie. <laughs> Vacation Adventures. Yeah, Barbie. Vacation <laughs> Adventures. Anyways, I'm over Perfect. here to strike a deal with Leo. I got a bunch of games that I don't need, duplicates. And I'm trying to make a deal. Uh, basically what Fluffy Gamer has offered me, which I think is a, is a good offer. Um, he wants Super Mario Strikers for the Nintendo GameCube. Nice clean copy with the manual. Been looking for it. And uh, he's willing to offer me a game that is of equal value. Several games. Zelda, Ocarina and Time. That's worth it alone. But what he's decided Almost. to do is be nice. <laughs> and throw in these four games as well, because he's awesome. Because I've hooked him Simpsons, up sometimes. Bart vs. Space Mutants, South Park. Got some Blitz. And a little Game Gear game, Vampire. That I just picked up the other day. Yes, sir. Trying to do a trade. Yeah, so, uh, you know what, I think... Uh, hmm. What do you say? Deal? No. Or no deal. Sixty dollars for thirty. I've decided that the deal was just not fair enough when we had to hook Fluffy up with at least something. So I got him a nice clean copy of Railroad Tycoon 2, black label. It's actually worth seven bucks. You're throwing that in? I'm gonna give it to you for free, dude. What do you think? I love you. It's actually flawless, dude. I don't know if you'll you'll pick this up. Yeah, no, I took I took a look at it and that thing is like minty, 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 minty. Yeah. I like these types of games. A lot of people don't. I'm into like SimCity games, Civilization games. It's like strategy also. type game. Strategy, right? yeah. yeah. I'm into all kinds of games, but I like these two. All right, guys. Well, that's my that's my time for this week at the Kobe Swap Meet. But before I go, Leah wants to show you guys something. He picked I'll up something pretty cool. I'll take an extra large bed, a TV, and one of those little refrigerators you have to open with the key. Can I get fried chicken? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fried chicken. Yes. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, this, this is the black guy over here with the Afro. Fried yeah. chicken. Hey, you might as well throw him a gallon. Cool eye. That's it. Cool eye. Like What's up? This is my boy Leo. How you doing? What's good? Hey, my name's Big Luke. How you doing? I don't doing? smile when I'm around him, man. Nah, I'm nah, just nah. ghetto when I'm up in here. Yeah, <laughs> Cash Money Records. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. What? Smiles? Yes, Come on. Yes. One. Hey, there it is. <laughs> All right, guys. Stay tuned for the pickups. Credit card. You got it. As I walk around the swap meet all alone today, I started thinking about how far I've come since I began to collect for retro games. I never thought in a million years that I would be at where I am now versus where I was. I just dove right in on this adventure and never looked back. 
I gotta say, my journey has been pretty amazing. Not only just the great games that I have found that now sit mainly on my shelf, but I have also met a lot of great people along the way because of it. People I have gotten to know in real life, online, and of course those through the YouTube gaming community. I have been inspired by many great YouTube channels, and it blows me away to see how my videos have been inspiring to others. And for that, I am truly honored. So to everyone, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being a part of my life and joining me on this journey of reliving one of my greatest childhood memories, video games.